morning workout for seniors. This is an exercise class for people that have a high risk of falling and are unable to do exercises standing safely. So this whole exercise program is gonna be done in a chair. And the idea is that you'll do this every single day to help improve your strength and your endurance until you're strong enough and your balance is good enough to start doing some standing exercises. So let's begin. The first exercise is to curl your arms. So you're gonna bend your arms up and down. So I'm gonna show you. You're gonna lift and then back down. Ready? Let's begin. One, lifting and back down. Two, and back down. You don't have to lift as high as I am. Just try to get your hands up off of the chair and out in front of you. So lift and back down. Lift and back down. If you want, you can make a fist or you can leave your hands open. It doesn't matter. Same benefit. And we're gonna do one more. Lift and back down. Then the next exercise is reaching up. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna start with your hands in front of you and then reach up as high as you can. Ready? Begin. Reach. One. Two. Three. This is a great way to increase the strength in your shoulder. Four. Now a lot of you might not be able to reach as high as I am. You might be able to just get right in front of you. Six. That's okay. Just go up as high as you can. Even if you can't get your hands over your head, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you're using your shoulders to try to lift your arm. So as high as you can reach, that's perfect for you. And one more. Reach. Good. Then the next exercise I call chicken wing. You're gonna put your hands against your shoulders and you're gonna lift your arms up and out to the side. Just like that, Hot lift and then back down. This works the middle deltoid. That's the muscle that lifts your arm up and it's a great way to strengthen that. If you're feeling strong, if you feel like this is a little too easy, you can bring your hands out to the side and lift like this. But most of us, we're gonna do it this way. Three more, one, two, three. Okay, the last arm exercise we're gonna do is to open and close our hands. So we're gonna open our fingers and close our fingers into as tight a ball as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Okay, now let's work our leg muscles. The first leg exercise we're gonna do is to lift our thighs. So what the idea is, is just to lift your thigh up off the chair, trying to get your thigh and your foot off the ground. So one, and then the other side. One, two, two. Now, many of you are not gonna be able to lift as high as I'm lifting. You might barely get your foot off the ground. In fact, you might not even get your foot off the ground. That's fine. Just try to lift your leg because if you try, you're gonna be using your hip muscles to, to lift your leg and that makes them stronger. You might find that doing this the first week, you can't lift your thigh off of the chair, but after a couple weeks, you can. Just keep going. And we're gonna do two more. One, one, two, Two. Okay, the next exercise is kicking. So you're gonna kick your leg up as high as you can out in front of you with your toes up. 
So you want your toes to be pointing up towards the ceiling and you're lifting your leg off the ground out in front of you. This works this big muscle on your thigh called the quadricep. Now, if you can't do this, you're having trouble, try to push your thigh into the chair as you're lifting your foot up. That'll make it a little bit easier. And the idea is you wanna lift your leg as high as you can, going right to left. Let's do three more. Right leg, down, left leg, down, right leg, down, left leg, down, right, and left. Okay, now we're ready for the last exercise in the sequence, which is toes up, heels up. You're gonna lift your toes up off the ground, so your heels are pushing down, toes are lifting up, then you're gonna lift your heels off the ground. So toes up, heels up. So you're kind of rocking your foot back and forth. Toes up, heels up. Four, heel. Toes, heel. Toes, heel. Toes, heel. Toes, heel. Three more. Toes, Heel, toes, heel, toes, heel. Okay, now we'll go back to the beginning. So the first one is curls. We're gonna curl our arms up and down. So bend your arms up and down. Three, four, nice and slow. Head up straight, try to have your posture good. Try to sit up as high as you can in that chair. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to reach for the ceiling. Bring your hands as high as you can over your head and back down. Two, as high as you can reach. Three, some of you might reach really high, some you barely moving. It helps you no matter which way you do it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Now we're gonna do the chicken wing. Arms touching your shoulders, fingers touching your shoulders, and lift your arms up to the side. One, two, three, four. If you're better, you can do them this way. Five, if you're strong. Six, otherwise it's fine to do them this way. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna work our fingers. Open, close, two, Close, three, close, four, close, five, close, six, close, seven, close, eight, close, nine, close, ten. Now we're up to our legs. We're going to march our thigh up and down. Ready? Right leg up and down. Left leg up and down. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left right, I'm getting some rain, <laughs> left, right, and left. Now we're gonna kick our legs up and down. So we're gonna go right leg kick up, down, left leg, down, right, down, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, 
down, left, down, right, down, left, down, right, down, left, down, one more, right, down, left, down. Now our ankles. We're going to lift our ankles up and then the heels up. Toes up, heels up. Toes up, heels up. Toes up, heels up. Toes up, heel. Three more. Toes, heel, toes, heel, toes, and heel. Okay, we've gone through the sequence twice. That's a great place to start. Again, if you're having trouble balancing yourself when you're standing, if you feel unsafe to do exercises standing up or exercises harder than this, this exercise program is meant for people that, that are at that level where they can only really do these chair exercises. I would recommend doing this exercise program twice a day. So once in the morning, once in the evening until you get stronger. I've done this with thousands of clients and all of them have improved their strength doing this little routine. And you can definitely repeat it more than two cycles if you want. I hope this helps. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to see more things like this.